In this quick video I will show how to fix the boat foam error where it would only work with some of the boats. Now it will work with all. It works on this kayak. It also works with the Viking ship. Smaller boats like this inflatable motor boat can be pushed by the player and the foam will still spawn, similar to when it is ridden. Here are examples of it working on the other boats with no issues now. If you exit an automatic sail boat while it is still moving the foam still spawns. A disclaimer is that the foam behaves very differently in a standalone game and this preview is in editor so the values might need tweaking for it to work properly in standalone. This video is a bug fix for the boats I made from the master boat video, which I used as a template for row boats, motor boats, sail boats, jet skis, and submarines. You can see all the boats I have in this level have the fluid sim variable set to the one in the scene. The foam works for this fishing boat. However when I try this tugboat, it is not working. I discovered that this issue is caused when there are too many actors registering a dynamic force and since all of these boats are registering them by default, only the first few ones that were set will actually work. So to fix it I will make some changes to dynamically select when the foam forces will be applied to a boat. To fix it, go to the master boat pawn actor. Find the begin and end overlap events and make some space. In begin overlap, add a branch that checks if the boat is walkable slash dockable. This is since if we enter the inner range of a boat that isn't dockable it means it was a smaller one that can be pushed. We want to enable foam when the boat is pushed. For example this row boat has the enter range around the whole boat while this unpushable viking ship has the enter range towards the front. If false, call the add fluid simulation function we made. I will promote the radius and strength to variables so different boats can have different setups for the foam. For the end overlap, add a branch that checks if the boat input timer is active. If false, it means the boat is idle. Get the fluid sim variable and add remove dynamic force. This will stop the foam scene from spawning foam in the ocean. The component should be the foam scene. Then go to the event on interacted which is when the boat is entered. Add the same fluid simulation function call. Then in the clear boat timer event, add the remove dynamic force since this is for when in the boat and it stops after having moved. Finally add the simulation on the start boat timer event. I added fluid simulation on begin play to all the other boat templates. For jet ski, I will set the radius and strength to the values I used. Then I deleted the add fluid simulation call. Repeat this for all the other templates which are motorboat, sailboat, rowboat, and submarine. Rowboat is a bit different as it has extra ones for the oars. I will just set them up in the secondary events. Submarines are also slightly different as it uses event tick to set them up.
It works with the fishing boat still. It's also working with this houseboat. If there are larger boats such as this yacht you can make the foam bigger for them. I will increase the radius to 400 and strength to 2 for the yacht in the child class. I will also change the houseboat ones as it is bigger. I modified the values off camera for the other boats such as the Viking and pirate ships. The foam is much bigger for the yacht now. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. This edition will be available in the completed water series project files which will be released once the project is completed. Thanks for watching.